night welcome back to the channel everybody we're out here on the Trinity River trails cruising first of all I want to correct something I said on my uh, V Moto tire review I said the battery cells and the Rev 1 battery were Panasonic they're not Panasonic they're uh, Samsung some of the higher end Samsung cells so sorry for that misspeak yeah, it's nice and warm out here this morning already we're coming into our gonna be into our hot 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 season here coming right now unfortunately it's gonna be 100 degrees tomorrow and we're gonna have a run of it starting tomorrow so it's been very humid here not been real fun even early in the morning to ride but got to get out when you can So I saw on the site I ordered my battery from that it's shipped from China. Still not supposed to be here till the end of June. So we'll see when it gets here. Hopefully it fits. And it should make the rad. I should be able to get at least 20 more miles out of the red with it, so looking forward to it. We're out on the Rev 1 today. Come on by on the left. The warmer weather was going to hit sooner or later, so it's, you know, mid-June here, unfortunately. We had a hell of a lot better spring than we did last year. Last year it was hot all spring and dry, so... Morning. Yes, that is downtown Fort Worth we're coming up on. For all y'all who aren't from here. Downtown Fort Worth doesn't have a lot of real tall, tall buildings, but... But it's actually bigger than it looks. Just, just not a lot of tall buildings out there. Uh, 
Oh, there's a turtle coming across the, tr the path. They're not watering the trail, are they? Kind of, sort of are. <laughs> watering the gravel part of it. Keep the dust down. So anyway, I'm looking forward to getting that 20 amp hour battery. So I should be able to get 50 miles on this bike easily with that. Or on the rad one, or on the rad span five. And that's riding in uh, with the power on uh, the highest power setting, 10, on the 35 amp controller. And eventually we're going to put the true 750 watt motor in it. Probably not till next year. For a long time, I didn't necessarily agree that that didn't have a... I still think it has a 750 watt motor. I just don't think it has the the peppier and then rad does something to that motor anyway to stop it from going past 25 miles per hour and then it starts giving you resistance at least it does to, it seems like it does to me even on downhill you have troubles going faster than 25 miles per hour doesn't want to let you go. Probably what happened, they probably had some, I know they've had some lawsuits, so. They got something in there that when that motor cuts off, it gives you some kind of resistance. Coming by. This is certainly the place to come cruise. No doubt about that. Don't have to really worry about getting a flat tire out here. At least you shouldn't have to worry about it. Now we're getting into Trinity Park. I'm going to cut you off for a minute. And I'm going to go take a break. I'll be right back with you. All right, sorry about that. I had to take a little pit stop. Oh, yeah. 
Whew, it is warm and humid out here, y'all. Very nasty. Not any fun out here at all today. But it's part of living here. You just got to get out and early in the mornings or go out in the evenings, which is what I do. I got up at six o'clock this morning to come out here. So those neighborhood rides, they just get old. So even I get bored with them. This Rev 1, I tell you, pretty. I'm pretty impressed with the battery, most of all. Uh, the bike's about what I expected it to be. Um, I knew it was going to be a real smooth ride. You know, this bike's got a long wheelbase. It's almost 50 inches. They say it's 49, but when I will measure it, it's closer to 50 inches. Gives it that really smooth ride. Probably is why it can go so fast. It's the longer wheelbase. It's not going to accelerate probably like some of the other mo styles or motorcycle styles. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll be honest with y'all. I'm not sure this bike would outrun the Rad to 25 miles per hour. That Rad in pedal assist five it, it it moves i mean i've seen over 1550 watts on that rad coming out of that 35 amp controller so uh that motor you know in pedal assist five it makes some power so. This doesn't let you go past, really it starts cutting the power off at about 22 uh, miles per hour on you. He's there. This doesn't let you get. Just doesn't let you get past 25. Even like I said, even on the downhills, that bike seems to me to have some resistance going downhill after you hit 25, which is irritating. Well, you should be able to pedal that bike. Well, you're certainly not ghost pedaling at 25 miles per hour on it. At least I'm not. You know, that's something else. These bikes, they are not designed to ghost pedal. All right, I promise you, each one of these manufacturers tests these bikes with somebody who can really ride, with somebody who's kind of in the middle, and somebody who's a newbie, okay? And if you've got the pedal strength, then you can pedal these bikes without any ghost pedal. They're not designed to be ghost pedal. Passing on the left. I'll tell you this, if you lived off this trail, like let's say you lived on an apartment complex off of it, 
or in a residential neighborhood off of it, you could pretty much so hit this trail and access a lot of stuff in Fort Worth. I mean a lot of stuff. Restaurants, bars. Uh, it's amazing how this trail cuts right down through pretty much so the heart of Fort Worth. You know, there's, there's nowhere on your e-bike or your regular bicycle you can't get off of this trail and be in a pretty nice part of Fort Worth. It just takes you right through the Colonial Country Club. You could be in the Fort Worth Zoo area in no time. Just really cool how the trail is. And it's got a trail on both sides of the river, not just on one side. They've made this better and better and better over the past 20 years out here. place to come have a coffee of course not on a day like today not gonna, I'm not gonna be sitting outside having a coffee on a day like today well there's some e-bikes for rentals like I said they have rental bikes both electric and manual on the trail here Oh, look at those white phase blue herons. Two big ones. Ooh, that's a biggie. See right in here where I think this might be the Rogers Road crossing or close to it. That is Colonial Country Club out there, y'all. I was uh, was thinking that was Colonial the other day when I was coming by here, but wasn't 100% sure. They're tearing Colonial all up and rebuilding it. I can see where they dug up some of the fairways already. So they got to have it ready by September to meet the PGA Tours deadline. So they got to get going. Ew, boy, that would be rebuilding that in the heat of this. Oof. They're going to have troubles with the heat, I can tell you that. So they're going to have to do some heavy duty watering to keep that alive. which they will do.
where are we at here? We're almost at nine miles on this. So when I hit 13 miles on here, it's 20 miles. So nine would probably be close to 15 or so. Guys out here riding without helmets, crazy, 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 man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I know there's no cars out here, but still, you still wreck. You should still be wearing your helmet. And you know, it's nice out here because they have the gravel for the, you know, and then it's definitely softer. So, looks like they water it down to keep it from blowing all over and being all dusty. You know, this Rev 1, it just, it's, it's got good quality power, good range. Uh, goes fast and pretty much so you can still hit 20 miles an hour even in pedal assist one takes a little bit of time but you get there but I find the pedal assist two and three to be the sweet spot on this thing we can just now drop the battery bar We've probably gone 15 miles or so, maybe a little more. Once this thing reads 13 miles, we've hit 20. So, oh, that turkey vulture's still up there, looking all pretty. Yeah, I even think turkey vultures are pretty. They fly nice. They got nice. They soar nice. thing you do do though you get your bike awful dirty out here it's dusty I do get the battery in for the rad. I'm gonna charge it three or four times before I do a range test with it. It's funny that when I read the stuff on the battery, it says to have it in the on position when you charge it. I'm not crazy about that. Most batteries say to be in the off position when charging. But when I was reading the stuff on it, it said if it's turned off, it can only get about an 85% charge. So.
that's kind of a bummer i don't really i don't leave my batteries charging when i'm not home so i guess that's not that big a deal i guess since i'm always home but i would prefer the battery be off when i'm charging it but they say to have it on so i will certainly want to get a full charge so. now one thing about pedal assist 3 though it makes you work too hard getting to the end of this here hope you enjoyed these views better than the neighborhoods that's for sure so hey if you like this video leave me a like please hit the subscribe button leave me a comment we'll see you on the next cruise Hope you enjoyed the like views and whatnot. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you on the next ride.